Hey everyone, it's Andrew. I am back and we are going to continue on working with our sentence constructor, but this time we're going to bring it over to Anthropic uh, Claude, where I've actually had a lot of great success. I do have a paid version of this. Um, there is a free version, but it's very limited. Um, so, you know, if you, if you can't do this one, just watch along and just try to use a different type of um, um, AI assistant out there and we'll just see the best that we can do here. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use uh, Claude 3.5 Sonnet. Originally, I wrote this uh, using Claude 3.5 Sonnet. And we actually already have an XML example. So it's already in a structure that works really well um, uh, for us. And we can make this a project. Um, it's probably something that I would like to do. But let's go ahead and make ourselves a new folder here. And I'm going to call this um, in a sentence constructor. This will be Claude. Okay, and we're going to create a readme here, as per usual. And I'm just going to go ahead and copy this. We'll paste this. Oh, that's not what I wanted. I wanted this here. We'll go ahead and copy this. And we'll paste this in here as such. And so we're going to use um, Anthropic. Well, it's just going to be Claude Sonnet 3.5. And this will be 2025. Uh, Q1 because they don't really version them the same way. Uh, so I have the paid version of Claude. And we're going to use projects. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and use projects here. Um, let's go look and see if we can find out how to look up Cloud Sonnet uh, prompting guide because they explicitly tell you to use XML for sure. Um, I think it's over here, actually. So here they talk about using XML, chain of thought. Um, they have a lot of stuff that they suggest, right? So there is a bunch of stuff in here that we can do. We are already kind of doing XML, so we are already in really good shape. I'm going to leave that up to you to read. Um, and so, you know, uh, Claude has very, or Anthropic. Anthropic has, that doesn't look right, and Thropic, Thropic, <laughs> Thra, Thropic have very specific suggestions for providing good prompting. Okay. Um, and so, yeah, I'm, I'm using that one and just do the best that you can here. Um, I'm going to first provide it as one document and then we're going to break them up into separate ones. But I'm going to go ahead here and I'm going to make a new file. I'm going to call this prompt.md. We're going to go ahead and just grab the ChatGPT one uh, here. And I'm going to go down here, and we're going to then provide our examples below. OK. And I'll just put them right back into here. We're going to break them up here in just a second, but I'm just going to do this for now. And we're going to go over to here, and we will re-add this. And we'll just say um, version 3. I'm going to make sure I have a new ticket so that I can just keep track of what I'm doing. This is going to be sentence constructor Claude. And I'm going to create the new one. So now I have that number. Great. So we're going to go ahead here and say 3. Uh, basic example of prompt copied from the... Meta, or sorry, ChatGPT version. And so we'll go ahead and do this and commit that. And so now we'll, what we'll do is go grab this one here. We'll copy it, and we're going to go back over to Claude. We're going to paste this in. Not exactly what I wanted. I wanted to paste it into here. But it looks like because it's so large, it's dumping it as, as, as that, which is fine, whatever. It's coming back here, and we have pretty good results. It's still doing this weird past thing. Um, which is interesting that this one's doing it because I wouldn't have expected that to happen here. But all I can think of is maybe that our examples contain it and that's why it's doing it. If we go down to here, yeah, so it has it right here. And that might have been our problem the, the other time. It had conflicting information. So we take that out and we told this was a 10. We said this is a really good example. And that could have been the reason why, right? So I'm going to go ahead and save that. This first part is a question about a past event. The second part describes a continuous action. 
And I think this one is doing a lot better job. So already I'm, I'm really preferring um, Claude's version. It's using Karasu. It's interesting that it's showing the Furigana here. Um, I don't think we told it that it shouldn't, but it actually is very good that it is doing that. And so what we'll do, because then we're just going to cheat here. I'm going to go back to ChatGPT where we had already entered in our solutions. Mm, over here. I'm going to grab this one here. I'm going to go ahead and paste it in. Okay. Let's see what we get. So let me interpret it uh, the way you provided it. I actually do like it. It provides the Romaji in this one case. I saw a Raven in the morning. The garden was was uh, visible, uh, visible scene. And this is so much more concise. This is like the format that I want it to be in. But for whatever reason, you can just see ChatGPT loves to make big nests of stuff. Um, but yeah, this one is definitely, definitely the best so far. Um, but anyway, so I saw a Raven in the morning. The garden was visible and seen. So clearly it's not talking about the Raven. Uh, as we already know that there are issues with it here. Good job using the past tense. Use the correct version of Raven and Garden. Um, typically doesn't need the knee particle. The question mark is missing in the first part. Uh, would you like to try again? And so this is pretty, pretty decent. Um, not as good as my original one, but that's totally fine. Uh, but what I would like to do is just start to breaking this up into, ex uh, into multiple files. Now, if you don't have the paid version flawed, just keep it all as one file the best you can, but you might hit a limit where it's like, hey, th these are too large. You've got to break them up into smaller files. Or if you just can't use Claude, continue on with uh, ChatGPT and, and, and try to apply those in whatever uh, AI power assistant you are utilizing. But I'm going to go ahead here and I'm going to take the examples uh, out of here. And uh, we'll, we'll first we'll make a new file here. I'm going to say um, uh, examples dot XML, and then I'll go back over to here, and we are going to cut this out here, and then paste it in here. Now, I feel like if we have an XML file, we should probably say examples, like this, and do that. I think that's a little bit better for it. But again, the reason we are doing this is just to kind of pare it down, right? Because it's kind of getting a little bit large. Uh, for us here. And is there a little bit more that we can do here? Now, we have examples here, but we could also break the examples up into each part. Also, I just noticed that we have a, uh, a mistake here. Okay, so it's, I'm sure it still works, but uh, that could cause some issues. Mm. Yeah, just give me a, a second to think about this, okay? All right, so I'm thinking that I really want to start adding that state management stuff or adding multiple states to kind of help the LLM understand exactly uh, how I wanted to think uh, in different areas. And so I'm going to go back over to our main prompt area. Um, and obviously, we have examples here uh, for sentence structures. And I can go ahead and just make a new file here and just say sentence, uh, sentence structure examples, XML. And then we can just keep cutting this stuff out and breaking it up in another way. So we'll go here and I'll paste this in here. Uh, yeah, we're not really getting to state management right now. We're just doing a little bit of house cleaning. Just give me a second. I'm going to pause and then go edit this really, or like format this really quickly. I'm, uh, I'm cheating and I'm asking, um, I'm asking Claude to complete the structure for me just so that we get through this a bit quicker. So I'll go ahead and paste it in here. And so now... I, I have this broken up as examples. And so this is uh, one file that we can uh, upload as mm, good structure examples. Over here, mm, I mean, like I want to specify different kinds of state. So if we go back over to our prompt, and so now this is a little bit more concise. Um, reference the sentence. And I'm telling it to look at uh, external files. So sentence structure examples for good um, structure examples. Okay, so I'm literally telling it to look at that file. And I'm using XML so that it knows to look at that file. And thing is that we can provide 
example files for each part of the structure, um, which might be interesting. But I guess like I just kind of want to define the components that we have. Um, and maybe we can do that through charting because earlier on, I wasn't like sure how we could actually go ahead and make a diagram, but maybe there actually is a way to do it. So let's go back over to um, Lucid, use whatever you want or just watch me make it, it's totally fine. I'm not expecting people to do tons of diagramming here, um, but I want to go into our architectural diagrams for the bootcamp. And I should have a new one here, which is the sentence, uh, this is the sentence constructor one. I'm just gonna rename this to sentence constructor. Let's try to break this down into components, right? So we have um, vocabulary table. We have um, sentence structure. We have uh, clues, right? Clues, clues. I don't know why I keep uh, typing D there. Considerations, I'm gonna make this a little bit larger. It's a little bit hard to see. Next steps. Okay, so here, this is an example of an output. And so this would be, um, assistant output, right? And this one's fine, but the thing is that this is what you'd expect if you got input from the student, right? So if we go up to here, we have student input and I'm just going to align these left here, left center. Um, we're gonna have the English sentence, like English uh, working sentence, or say target English sentence, right? And again, it just helps to think of these as states. I'm trying to do my best to, to do this, but if we do this, this is, this is and again, this is why I called it setup earlier, but we're basically setting up the scenario, right? Um, and, Maybe we can grab this one here. So this is an example of setup, right? Now, when a student makes an attempt, okay, Japanese sentence, attempt, the format could be similar. Like we could provide the vocabulary again, but we already have it prior in the history. And so I don't think we need to update that. So we can just take that out of here. Um, we don't need to provide sentence structure because we've already provided it earlier. Um, and so what we're getting back here is um, interpretation, instructor interpretation. Right? Okay, and so each time here we are providing uh, clues and adjustments. And the other thing is that we know that um, the state can go from setup to attempt. Like we know that this can occur. Um, but the other thing is that it can also go to clues, right? So a student could just ask more clarifying questions. And then from here, they could go from here. Um, and from here, they can go to here. Um, but it's not like, the thing is, is like the student makes an attempt. Yeah, and then they get that, they get that output. I guess the question is like, what does clues look like? Well, clues would just be student question. And here we would have clues and consideration.
okay? So the other thing is that there is a part where it does end and um, there's like a variant for the final attempt where, I mean, I didn't make this in my original one, but like we can say, um, it's the conclusion. Because if you're here, we have a Japanese sentence attempt. I don't know if we really need another one, but I guess the thing is like, it would just say like good enough. Yeah, I guess considerations would show it enough. No, I think it would still be an attempt. So like it would go here and then uh, this could go back to here. And so that is, um, that is our flow of our, of our agent. That's how we want it to act, right? And so that is our representation of states. And so we know what all these components are, then we can properly define what we want them to do. Um, and that might be a different way that we could completely structure this thing. So let's go see if we can go do this. Um, I think what I'll probably do is stop the video here just because we've defined our structure. Um, and I wanna leave this next part as implementation, okay? Um, so I'm gonna stop it here and we're gonna continue on in just a moment.